today we're in Rasalheima. We know that there are seagrass meadows around this area where green turtles typically use these habitats to forage. And we're going to use a mixture of uh, methodologies to find out which are the adults. And we want to, to choose those adults to be able to tag them, deploy satellite transmitters on them. And the satellite transmitters are the ones who are going to give us very valuable information around the movement. The first thing that we did was that we tagged them. So we used flipper tags, which are basically metallic tags. It's almost like a piercing, it doesn't hurt the turtle at all. Once the flipper tag is attached, we take the measurements. So we take the carapace length, we do that twice. And we also take the carapace width. How much? 29.2. Once the satellite transmitters have been uh, attached, we will send them on their way. This guy has four wives. Yeah. <laughs> because one claw is broken. <laughs> Up until now, all of the research and all of the work that's ever been done on turtles in the Gulf is just on a nesting beach. And all of a sudden now we have the opportunity to go and answer those unsolved mysteries of where they spend their time at sea and be able to contribute that data into conservation programs at a regional level, not just for Ras Al Haima or Abu Dhabi or Dubai, but all of the region where these animals are moving. These transmitters over here, they're going to give us all the information we need. So basically we're going to follow that turtle all the way back to the feeding area that uh, he's using. So we came here as well to do some uh, genetic sampling from the turtles. We basically collect some tissue samples and these are going to give us information about the turtles, uh, how different are the turtles or how related are the turtles that visit this area compared to other uh, areas in the Gulf. Well, we want to do it because we can and because it's only going to take a few minutes. So yeah. We'll just go with both of these. Okay. Right? Okay. What we really want to know is we want to know where the animals are moving to and from on their adult migrations to their nesting grounds and back. And so what we're doing is we're using laparoscopy, which is a small surgical procedure. We're going to make a small incision, okay, just like that. So the laparoscopy allows us to identify those animals that are getting ready to breed. And that way, when we put the transmitters on those animals, we get the best sort of data. We get their, their feeding grounds, their breeding grounds, and their migration routes all in one lump sum. So this is a four-year project. We're aiming to tag up to 75 turtles in total. Uh, and the idea is that we're looking for um, partners, not only to help us visit these areas and decision makers to use that information that we're going to be generating, but also partners to help us, to support us financially and contribute to the work we're doing. What we're doing here today is great in itself, but what's even better is the wider importance of it and how it plays its role in that jigsaw puzzle that is the marine environment.